Taurus, welcome to your Just In Time Tarot reading. If you're watching this, Taurus, trust that there is a message here for you. If you're a regular, welcome back, Taurus. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Bronya. I'm really looking forward to bringing you through this message. It can feel like a personal reading sometimes, and while that's super cool, it is not always the case. So just leave it for somebody else if it doesn't resonate, but sometimes just pieces can. Don't underestimate those. Okay, I have pulled for you. It's time to release negativity. Full moon in Scorpio. And I am reading this on the full lunar eclipse in Pisces. So we've got this really intense energy that is showing us maybe where our wounds are or what is not serving us or the true colors of people and situations. So maybe that has ignited something for you, Taurus, and you are being asked, is it time to actually release something that just might be toxic for you? All right, let's keep going. Uh, I'm using the Divine Initiation Oracle and the Ethereal Alchemist Tarot. There is a link down below with all of the decks that I use. So if you want to check them out, you can. I have got Self Reverence. Yeah, it really feels like it is time to come back to the authority of self, to put yourself first, to do what is right for you, which feels like an act of self-love. So what I'm feeling is that you're in a situation that has taken a toll you know, on your, you know, your self-reverence, right? Maybe, you know, it's a toxic employer or partner or, or something here that's just not in alignment. So let's keep going. And the first tarot card out is the Nine of Cups. Okay. This is actually the card of hopes, dreams, and wishes. But the word that was coming through when I was pulling the self-reverence card was gaslighting. And I'm just wondering if you're in a situation, like I said, it could be a relationship, it could be an employment situation, being a general collective, where somebody might have been promising the world or promising you your dream, you know, making big claims here, right? But what we come, need to come down to is what is the actual evidence? You know, what has actually showed up uh, and what might just be, you know, hollow words or false promises. Yeah, the star in reverse for me feels like somebody, you know, like really um, appeared to be a destiny point or this maybe role appeared to be, you know, your destiny point. And in some ways it is because it's taught you some fundamental um, lessons here. But the star talks about realigning to you know your best and highest path it is the energy that follows on from the tower and i feel that you're going through a little bit of a shake up here to really indicate is the foundation firm enough in the situation to keep building all right so let's keep going yeah i know I was, I was wanting to get going because i knew that these energies here were definitely um you know like under the influence of like a tower or a ten of swords and i've pulled the seven of swords so that fits with what we're feeling here that there is deception around like a toxic positivity or somebody who's making false promises promising the world but not delivering dangling the carrot that kind of energy right and i think that you are beginning to see the truth of that and maybe you know today or in the days around this reading with the eclipse energy the masks are off or you're finally seeing things for what they really are you know actually there hasn't been any results show up actually you know i'm feeling kind of deceived here actually i think you're undermining me right so the seven of swords can be a deception energy somebody who is wearing a, a false mask here in this situation yeah and nine of pentacles on the other side of that is you taurus stepping up in full empowerment on the other side of this situation is where you actually reach your full magnetic vitality energy and also your success lies on the other side of this and i think the the decision that you need to make here taurus is can you stay within this environment and achieve the goals dreams and wishes that you you're hoping for right because i've got the earthly representation of the nine of pentacles generally for me it would be a like self-sufficient independent going your own way energy and i think that you like i said your energy you know your vitality your health your abundance is going to improve once you are beyond the seven of swords the knight of cups is here and i think there's a new opportunity coming in 
one that has a purity about it, one that you can trust. The Knight of Cups comes in and brings us the Ace of Cups, an emotional new beginning that fills our cup. It is the Pisces energy for me being on this Pisces lunar eclipse. So when the Knight of Cups comes in for me, it is new energy. It's generally not a continuation of the same. So if you are wanting a change and wanting a shift, this is the time to look because this Knight of Cups can come in and I'm a, a big believer that what we are seeking is seeking us and we need to create the pathways. Some of you might be lucky enough to just have somebody pop into your life synchronistically, although that doesn't always happen. So I think that it's time to release negativity, come back to self-reverence and really look at whether the situation that you're in right now is delivering what you are hoping for. And if not, Two of Swords, it is time to make a decision, but a decision based on the deep truth. Like in the Two of Swords, the original card, Taurus, um, the, the person in the card is depicted wearing a blindfold, right? But in this version, the blindfolds are off, right? So you are seeing, you are seeing, and there is a little bit of a disappointment here. You know, there is a little bit of, I just you know, really wish it, it, it wasn't like this, but we have to accept, right? And once we um, come to this um, position of awareness, we can make a better decision, right? So that's what I'm feeling, yeah. And I'm gonna leave it on the Eight of Cups because you know what that is? That is leaving behind the situation that has the fundamental flaws in it to actually really get to the Nine of Cups, right? The Eight leads us to the Nine, but it's through the journey of leaving behind what is falling short, you know, what is not delivering. And we need to look at the tangible outcomes, the tangible actions of who we are dealing with, rather than the hot air and the fluff and the, and the words, etc. So the Eight of Cups is a moving on energy. And we know who has the missing cup that takes the Eight plus one to the nine, and that is the nine of uh, sorry the knight of cups so i think there's an incredible new opportunity here to really get to your hope dreams and wishes there is a, a you know a truth revealed or a masks are coming off you're going to see that seven of swords that is kind of you know uh, strategically sandwiched in there but my goodness it is there so this could be the biggest act of self love and i think it's going to lead you to an incredible nine of pentacles reality of a health wealth abundance and vitality so i'm going to leave it there taurus i hope you enjoyed this reading if you'd like a, a personal reading to follow this up please do follow the first link down below to my website i will also link you to my instagram tiktok and other social media accounts i'm very active and interactive on all of those with different daily content um, there's also my free learn tarot quick guide linked below and on screen um, if you're on youtube you are watching a preview of the initiation which is my signature tarot course where i teach a full foundation in tarot and my professional reading process it has been designed by award-winning designers and i really do provide um, a structure for you to be able to um, really deliver readings that resonate every time so do feel free to check that out i'm leaving you with this sending love and magic bye for now